Hey, are you ready to eat? Are you hungry? Hi. Hello, guys. Today's day number six of Tonka's mukbang series. Today he's having chicken. It's a leg and thigh quarter. Some chicken feet or chicken paws, whatever you want to call them. Um, some egg, some coconut oil, some mixed veggies, and some chicken hearts and gizzards, and chicken necks. I think I said it all. We'll see. Okay, I put, oh, I put it in this container because I noticed when I was watching the videos that all you could really see was Tonka's head in a bowl. So this way you can actually watch him eat it. Let's see, what's he gonna choose first? Coconut oil and spinach. He likes coconut oil. And the egg, oh yeah. He says, oh, I got my coconut oil and my spinach. Can smell everything. Oh, bone for the chicken necks. It's funny how he licks everything. It's like he's got to get it all clean. Oh, okay. So, let me start again. <laughs> this is Tonka. He's my two year old Alaskan Malamute. And he's eating the barf diet. Right now, he is eating a chicken neck. Mm -hmm. Chicken's an excellent source of niacin and protein, and it has selenium. It's also got vitamin B6 in it and phosphorus. It's a good source, too, of choline and panthenic acid and vitamins B12. The chicken back that's in there, it's um, it's a great source of glucosamine and chondro chondroitin, chondroitin, and it provides all the benefits of chicken like protein, iron, calcium, niacin. Um, it's got essential fatty acids in it, and vitamins A and the B vitamins. Oh, he's eating his carrots. You see that? He says, I'm eating my carrots. I know some people worry about chicken. They worry about the salmonella. But 18% of dog... Oh, there's another chicken neck. 18% of dogs actually have salmonella as part of their gut flora. Um, so, you don't really have to worry about that too much. Plus, I always wash this chicken when I bring it home. Wash it, and then I freeze it for three days to help kill any bacteria that might be on it. Oh, this is his favorite. Chicken balls. He loves chicken feet. The eggs that, are, are that he's eating, or the egg that he's eating, it's a great source of digestible protein. It's got riboflavin and selenium in it. And for some dogs that are prone to upset stomachs, it's a really good protein boost. Good stuff. This is what you, is called the BARF diet. It's an acronym. It stands for Biologically Appropriate Raw Food. It was created by a veterinarian, Dr. Ian Billinghurst. Make sure you guys do your own research, though. Don't just take my word for it. I'm just a girl on the tube. Feeding her Malamute some raw foods. Look how good he looks, though. That's a good-looking Malamute right there. Hmm. He says, yes, I am. Oh, he's eating his egg. <laughs> Did good with his veggies. Eat his spinach all up. Look at that. 
spinach is gone. He's eating his corn. His carrots. Good job, buddy. Chicken hearts are, um, they're high in fatty acids also. And they're packed with iron. Oh, there you go. And vitamins A and B. They also contain taurine. And taurine is um, an amino acid that's important in the metabolism of fats. Oh, yeah. There's this chicken paw. Some good stuff, huh, buddy? The chicken paw that he's eating right now, they're great for their joints and their cartilage. They don't have any meat in them. They're um, all skin, bone, and tendons, and they're packed with calcium and collagen. So, instead of getting collagen boosts or collagen shots, just get yourself some chicken feet. <laughs> oh, sorry. And they have protein that's easily absorbed. I tell you what, if I can figure out a way that, that I like them, I'd probably eat them. The spinach that he ate, it's great roughage. It's really good for his gut. And it's filled with vitamins A, B, C, and K. It's also packed with um, iron, antioxidants, and beta carotene. That's why you need to eat your spinach too. The chicken necks. Are a good source of glucosamine and chondroitin. <laughs> and they have all the benefits of chicken, too. They have protein, iron, calcium, niacin, essential fatty acids, vitamins A and B. So they're really good for him, too. And the coconut oil. He loves the coconut oil. You saw that. It contains lauric acid. And lauric acid is known to be um, antiviral, antibacterial, antifungal. Um, it also helps improve their digestion, but don't give too much or they will have the poopies and you don't want the poopies. Nope. Mmm, that's good stuff, huh? Say, this is yummy, Mom. I will tell you, I've gotten a few comments and I really love it. If you guys have any comments that y'all would like to share with me about how the Barf Diet's helped you, I'd love to hear it. He's so spoiled. Oh my goodness. Lori Cordinas was telling me how she started feeding the Barf Diet because she witnessed her Sharpay die from bloat. So sorry about that. That must have been so hard. And then three months later, she lost another Sharpay that she had rescued due to renal failure. And it was all because of a kibble diet. Then she rescued another Sharpay who had horrible skin problems. And she switched her to raw. And now she doesn't have any more skin problems. And her hair has grown back. That's good stuff, huh, buddy? And then um, Brooke Cook, she left me a comment. And she was telling me about her dog that she adopted from the animal shelter. I loved it. It's so cute. She calls him a labbit. He's part lab and part pit. And she said that he had really bad allergies and really bad um, skin issues. And the hot spots and all that bad stuff. And then after switching him to the barf diet, those skin problems went away. Spoiled.
and we're going to end this video. If you guys liked it, please give us a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Ring that bell so you know when we put our videos up. And share. Thanks so much, guys. I'm going to say, see you later, alligators. And Tonko's going to say, yes, go wow, crocodiles. Have a blessed day. Later. Good job. Was that yummy? You guys how I keep a dry kibble down for Tonka. And this is what I have for him. It's a Nutrish The Peak. It's open range recipe, beef, venison, and lamb. It's number one ingredient is farm-raised beef. 30% high quality protein and zero grains or gluten-free fillers. This is a, what size is this bag? A 12 pound bag. This usually lasts Tonka a month. That's, you don't need a whole lot of it. But it's down all the time, just in case he's hungry. When he doesn't have his raw foods. Look at that. It costs $24 for this 14, or 12 pound bag. $24.